Oh, man, I hate Mondays. Nah, man, it's Tuesday. Wait, 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 what day is it? You know what day it is. Tuesday. Bruise Day Tuesday. Ho, ho, fuck yeah! Oh, we're going to get our hops on, Uh uh-huh. It's Bruise Day Tuesday with Drez and Huck. Popping them tops. Popping the tops, baby. All right. It is Brews Day Tuesday time. My name is Driz. I would be Huck. And we like to drink beer on Tuesdays. You went You went right for it. I went it. right in, man. <laughs> um, so uh, it's weird because it says what day is it. It's more like what night is it now with the time change. It gets oh, so yeah. dark so quick. But um, It's dark about 3.30, I think. Yeah, yeah. And your eyes not so dark. You got the sunglasses. Your eyes are good to go now. That's right. I got new glasses. But I do have to wear them to read this beer can. Oh, that's right. So now you got to do, you have to have reading, reading glasses. glasses. I haven't decided what style I'm going to go with. You know, librarian, right. probably. Yeah, there you go. Definitely. <laughs> All right. So what we have here today is what we like to call a Nana the Boo Boo day. We have... Four beers from the Vale. Well, I mean, it is to an extent, but I mean, this one's not super Nana Boo Boo because I mean, like, it's not like the one you brought back from no. from Denver that's not in process anymore. Like, I mean, is this is these are these beers still available if you went up to the Vale right now? No. Oh, okay. Well, then, yeah, so, Nana Boo Boo. <laughs> uh, yeah. Every Tuesday they release beer, and I had to do a business trip, and I happened to be there on a Tuesday. How convenient! And I went in and I had a couple beers, and I was. They have like a secret code of how to do it. So yeah, they have the beers list. And actually, if they start selling out of a beer, they'll reduce the size of the serving and the price, of course. So if you were buying like a, you know, a, a big beer. They reduce the price? Yeah, they like they go from a 10-ounce pour to a 5-ounce pour and cut the price in half. Oh, So okay. that more people get a taste. Yeah, I got you. So then they have these little arrows, you know, like from the indigenous, indigenous oh people. They have the little arrow that points. And if there's an arrow, you can buy it. Maybe in a can, maybe in a bomber, maybe in a growler. But you can buy it. Well, mm-hmm. I guess you can buy a growler or anything. I didn't see growlers going out, but I bet you can. I guess you can buy a growler of anything. I would assume so. so anyway, I they, mean, unless it's limited quality, do they cut that off? Because yeah, I mean, they, that's yeah, it gets to a point where they don't sell any more beer, you know, and they'll run out of everything. Yeah, of course. I was there on a Wednesday, and they were only selling two beers. Anyway, they were selling six beers the night I was there, and I got all but the sour. And not because I don't like sours, it's just because I ran out of money. <laughs> it ain't cheap. <laughs> no, beer. they're not cheap. The Vale ain't cheap. No, and anyway. of course, we're talking about uh, the Vale with Jeb. You haven't heard of it's in Richmond. I still haven't been there. Where exactly is it in Richmond? Well, the address oh, is on here. It's uh, 1301 Rosemont. So if you're familiar with Richmond, it's near the boulevard. Okay. And it's like a block off, block off broad. Beautiful. You can drive right down, but the parking's a little iffy. But the whole neighborhood, I mean, if you don't mind walking a block, it's not a dangerous neighborhood. You can you can find a parking space. Everybody's, there's no parking because they put the food trucks in the parking lot, and the place is packed. I mean, it's always packed. Seriously, yeah, on, sure. especially on Tuesday. So I went on, a, you know, I didn't eat, but the food truck looked good. We went over and checked it out. Um, but anyway, so this one is uh, this one is called. I'm say we're child support. We're four minutes into the show, we yeah. haven't even said what beers we're drinking. This one's called Child Support. It's a hoppy pilsner, which seems to be a style I've had a lot lately. Four point five percent alcohol by volume, and this is a big boy pint. And I like it on the top. It says on the side, you know, where I have the warning for the Attorney General: recycle or die. Oh, there you and go. They're pretty green about all this. Well, yeah, and that's actually, see now, I noticed that all the other cans are just like, the, you know, the blank can with the label they slap on there. That one's an actual produced can. Yeah, and it has like, like a full. Yeah, I think they make this one a lot. It's got like it a must check be. printed on it. Plus, they're changing over their canning lines, and maybe they're using up the label ones they put on. Okay, speaking of, which is like this one, the one you handed me. It's kind of a fun label. It says uh, Little Kitty Boys, I guess that's the name of the beer. Boys. Mm-hmm. B O I S. The name of the beer is the whole sentence. The little kitty boys. Little kitty boys day off. Yeah, little kitty boys day off. That's the name and of the uh, there's a little dude like uh, you know at the beach, the skateboard, a piece of pizza, a cat, and a cell phone. And uh, yeah, that's cool. It's a IPA. It is 4.8 percent. And uh, this is from the Vale Brewing Company right there in Richmond, Virginia. Which, yeah, the Vale's getting a pretty good name. I mean, I guess they're. They're one of those spots that, like you said, they're very 
quality over quantity. Absolutely. And um, and I think that they're making a killing in that regard because of that. Yeah, and the guy doesn't want to take in – I sat and talked to him for an hour, and he doesn't want to take in capital. He wants to make, do it on his own. He's reinvesting his money. He's got a wife and two kids. He works. He's making three batches a day. I'm like, dude, you really ought to expand. But, I mean, that's not my business. But this is a brewery that I think came around somewhere that Virginia hadn't really been. You know, we now have a brewery where people will actually spend the night – to get the beer. Mm-hmm. They have a release on a Saturday. People go there Friday night and spend the night. We haven't had that in Virginia. I mean, a little bit, you know, a Detroit Theory had a period of time where that was kind of going on, but you don't see that so much. So, you know, we have a lot of beers that are being released. You know, Hardywood has, like, had their release of the gingerbread a couple weeks ago. And the, and the funny thing was everybody's in line to get it, and there's a picture of a pallet of it at, you know, one of the grocery stores. I'm like, so, yeah, it's a rare beer, but not that rare if you can buy a pallet of it. Yeah. So these beers you cannot, and mm-hmm. they usually limit on how many you can buy, a couple six-packs, whatever. But I saw people going out there. I went out with a case. Other people went out with a case. Well, let's go ahead and untap these ones because I know you got more available beers, and we can talk more about the, the brewery itself uh, coming up here in a little bit. But what are you thinking about your uh, – I can't remember what you called it. Uh, oh, uh, child, support. child support, of course. Yeah, just, Who could forget? Got to write that check every month. Yep. I was just said something about the check. The guys, Anita, it's actually written on the check. I, I need another. <laughs> it's the signature. It's the name. <laughs> I need another. That's who. That's his ex-wife there. Yeah, <laughs> need another. Okay. That's good. Um, I, you know, I'm, I'm a, I'm trying to decide if I'm a huge fan of the Vale or not. A lot of people have a lot of mixed feelings about it, but this beer is good. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of Pilsner's, but the hops bring something to it. And I have had a couple of Lisa. I do have something to compare with. So I'm going to give this thing a 425. 425. That's yeah. not a bad score. Now, that's the thing, man. Like The Vale, I was I was hearing a lot of good things about it. I know we had one Vale beer, I think, earlier this year or something. Yeah. And a, a buddy of mine brought back a couple Vale beers, and those were all amazing. But we pre-gamed with a Heffy uh, that you had brought, and now this one – Neither of these are really wowing me. Yeah. I don't know if it's just maybe this recent batch or maybe Homeboy's been getting distracted and, and he's slacking on his game a little bit. Now, that's to say this isn't a bad beer. It's just that my standard and my right. expectation for the veil is set so damn high. You're looking for a five. That, yeah, you're, look, you're looking for a five. When you this are. then when this little kitty boy stay off is not a five. I mean, it's still a good beer. I mean, look at that. Hashtag yeah. super unfiltered. You can't – this is – it's funny, like, you know, you think about all those, like, dark beers. You're like, oh, I can't, you know, you can't see your fingers on the other side. This is an IPA. And that you can't you see can't, your fingers. This is a light beer, and you cannot see your fingers on it the looks, other side of the glass. It looks I mean, like that the is, bottom of a keg when you get all it that, really does. that stuff at the bottom. It looks like it's straight, trub. like, cloud. This, this is, I'm drinking a cloud right now. You should call one of these beers Trub. Trub. <laughs> That's what it looks like. Mm. But, it, like I said, not to say that it's not good. It's just not up to... The the I guess the expectations you you expect when you get um when you get a veil beer so I'd say this is probably a man I tell you what this might this might just be a three seven five if Ooh, you can believe it under a I four this is probably my first under a four veil beer I've ever had um a little disappointed especially with the cool label and stuff in IPA it should be good four point eight it's not a high ABV which I, could I mean that might be support. part of the issue you know it might be it man give me, give me give me that the bigger beefier stuff I know we'll see if the next round's a little bit better we'll take a uh, take a break we'll play a tune and we'll come back and we'll try some more brewskis from the veil vale right after this stick around 